our proposal uh, to raise uh, $2 million uh, per year. Um, and we are going to do it for SOS Children's Villages. We have been choosing Nina Peters and SOS Children's Villages because there is a value match. Both are focusing on families. Um, SOS Children's Villages is an organization that believes that children need a family in order to grow up in, uh, in, in safety, in order to be able to flourish, and in order to, to be confident as adults. Uh, children who have lost their parents or who cannot stay with their parents, for those uh, SOS Children's Villages is um, uh, giving them a new family in a family setup. Siblings are never separated. There is a person, a stable person of reference. This can be uh, a woman, this can be couples. They live together like a family in a village setup uh, where children can stay with their biological parents. The organization is strengthening the family, meaning working with the parents, with their parental skills, and also. Uh, supporting the children so that they have access to education. Okay. So what we're proposing um, is to set up let's see, can I do it this way? Yes. Um, a global family fund. So that would be the SOS Children's Villages uh, Global Family Fund. And the concept is, is quite simple. Um, <laughs> the idea behind it is to bring together privileged families um, together with SOS Children's Families. Um, the model can be adopted to anywhere worldwide. Of course, since we're talking about Nina, in this case, we would be matching um, privileged families in um, Western Europe, mainly, um, with uh, uh, SOS children's families in India. Um, and the idea is to generate sustainable funds, of course, um, and to provide an inspiration. So we want to go beyond just you know, a, a subscription fund or, or you know, just getting the, the, the money but really the value added being everything that's being offered within this, this global family fund. Um, and of course, what we're hoping is that each one of those elements is gonna help break the cycle, the cycle of poverty. So these are the, our idea is um, similar to our colleagues, is to have uh, you know, a peer-to-peer -peer structure. And those um, just to explain, um, Nina would be um, invited as an ambassador for the project to contribute $25,000 to have that role and to uh, make connections with her peers or who would have to pay at least $10,000 to be part of the network. Um, the network would commit to raise $250,000 net um, and off each person you see other connections because we really want this to encompass the person's family. These are often busy uh, business people who feel guilty that they don't perhaps spend enough time with their family, worry that their kids are going to turn into sport brats because they don't understand the value of hard work or, or what it's like to not have that kind of wealth. So it's engaging the wider family and connecting with the SOS family. Um, Nino is one of many ambassadors, we hope. We've got uh, the same model going on and therefore the, the only limitation is um, how many people the SOS can engage at this point. Um, to, to set things up. What we hope is that each network will have a sense of competition with each other um, and want to, to raise the most money. Right. So the minimum, each network must raise at least 250000 That's the That's one of the requirements. And the second requirement, so that's the financial requirements. That would be the financial aspect. Uh, the second part is these would be the guidelines that SOS Children's Villages would provide uh, to each one of these people that want to create their global family fund. Um, it needs to, each one needs to have an ambassador, as Rosie said. Um, it must involve uh, children. So the idea is that uh, they need to come, and each one is free to innovate. Each one within the, each fund is free to innovate um, as to how they're going to involve their children. Are they going to get their own children in Geneva to have a school-to-school -school program? But um, it must have a... a one more generation component in order to be able to participate in this global family fund. Um, it must include professional mentoring. Again, in any way. Do you want to volunteer? Do you want to do it virtual? Do you want to do it once a week? It's, it's up to each one of these people to come up uh, with a, a professional mentoring program uh, between, the, in, in this case, between the, the, the families or the, or the communities in India um, and the communities in, in Western Europe. Uh, it must include door opening, of course, so the idea of mentoring and getting uh, companies involved and getting uh, foundations involved. And it must promote family values. 
So these are requirements. Um, and so what would happen is, th as Rosie explained, this, this, comp this competition, et cetera, quote unquote, would take place. And then at the end of the year, SOS Children's Villages would evaluate the different family funds that have, the global family funds that have been set up according to this criteria. So which one's most innovative and which one has raised the most money from each one of these. Um, and then the following year, that would be that the group, the winner, um, that, that would, they would come up with a name um, that would be the name the following year for the SOS Children's Villages Family Global Fund. So it would be called, you know, in this case, for example, what we're thinking is that since Nina is just the ambassador, the whole group will come up with a name. It's not just going to be Nina's name because then it's only her getting the credit when really it's this whole network that has created this. Um, and Nina, the, the ambassador, will be invited to join um, the board of SOS Children's Villages for one year. So that would be the other, the other advantage for her personally. Um, again, so I, I just explained that they would be invited to join and they could come up with a name for the following year. Um, we think it's an excellent way to engage high net worth families in a sustainable and effective way by creating not just the financial aspect, but putting in the mentoring, putting in the next generation, having children also involved um, in an effective way. Um, and it, of course, it's, it's the opportunity for the ambassadors, um, you know, in, in the case of, again, what Rosie was saying, getting the children um, involved, making sure that they're, they're exposed um, to SOS Children's Villages, um, to the children in the networks, um, and to sort of catalyze their networks for causes that they, they believe in. Um, and of course, ultimately what it's doing, it's connecting you know, high achievers with underprivileged individuals um, sort of to boost the confidence, to give them the tools um, to allow them to break from the cycle of poverty in these, in these exchanges. And I think ultimately what, what's, what's different about the Global Family Fund um, is that really the, the, the differentiating aspect is, the, is this instrument that you're creating um, to ultimately and the, the cycle of poverty. That's it. Great. Thank you very much.